Come on over, it's time for Tim Friend. Oh, I've got, uh, my name's Tim Friend, and I've got a gurgly ass tum. It's, it's time, it's time, hey, come on over, it's time for dinner. A body ring! Holy shit, that's useful. We're gonna give that shit to probably Nino again. We'll see, though, we'll see. What's, what's Florina's constitution? Five? I think Nino's is like six now. So, uh, yeah, we'll probably give it to Florina. Uh, well. <laughs> it's not like a huge deal, it's just uh, I wanted to give it to Nino because I want Nino to be the coolest, but she's already really cool, so fuck it. Um, yeah, we're... Sh God, that's like the 30th time I've hit that goddamn button with my leg. <laughs> I'm frustrated, I'm frustrated by it. Uh, we'll have everyone else start moving down, just for shits and gigs. Uh, fucking B-team champions can just sort of stay over here. Raven, you're not a B-team champion, though, so why don't you go over to friend Marcus? You're, he's not your friend, but uh, he can come on over. It's not time for you to be friends with him. Woof. Just dumb, Tim. Just dumb. Uh, so we'll have Priscilla uh, electrocute the snipper over here. And then uh, we'll have... Uh, can Sane do anything? Uh, he's got a ranged attack. I wonder if he'll be able to hit anybody from there. I can't remember the map in my head right now. We'll see. Oh, Priscilla levels up. Yay, Priscilla. I think she's like level... Oh, she's she's high enough. Look at that valuable speed and defense. A defensive level for Priscilla. Ooh, a sword slayer. I will definitely enjoy that being put in my bank. Uh, do you you don't have a ranged weapon? Gosh dang it! And saying you get to sit here with your hand axe and just kind of hang out. And everyone else, you're doing a great job. Doing a great job, everybody. Just, just hang out for a while. The reinforcements move up. These thieves are shortly going to have absolutely nothing to do, but uh, we'll let them enjoy their little uh. <laughs> Their, their thoughts of power and going for these doors and chests to unlock. Uh, Sane will continue to just rake in the experience points as these slow-ass knights can't really fight anyone but Sane. And uh, uh, gets, he's not really raking it in, though, because he's already level 5 million. I almost said fuf millione, and I, I don't speak German or French or Spanish. I took Spanish... I got, uh, I got up to Spanish 2 in my high school, and I had to take it twice because I failed it the first time because I was the slackingest slacker in high school. And uh, to a very large degree, I still am the slackingest slacker, but uh, not, not, I wouldn't say I'm the slackingest slacker. I'm a slacker, yes, but not, the, not as slacking as I was before when I was in high school and I could get by with uh, just acing the tests and not doing any of the homework and then being surprised when that still resulted in a failing grade when there was a project that I just didn't do. Oh god, that was a dark time. Oh well. Took Spanish 2, got it like a D in it the first time, got a B in it the second time. And that's fine. It was, a, it was a, a really boring time. That's part of what got me with Julia friends, so I guess I can't complain. Because uh, she was also in Spanish 2, I believe, and I helped her, and it was the romance of the century. Sorry about all your other romances, but mine was best. I mean, God, when you're in that fucking, uh, that initial relationship high, that's the fucking... Well, it it feels great, uh, but you're also the most obnoxious you will ever be about your relationship. Like, I'm not a guy who, like, super enjoys PDA, but <clears throat> uh, if you had looked at me while I was in my senior year of high school, come on, man, I'm trying to get Nino experience, and you're shooting at Urk over here? Fuck off. God damn it. He's gonna get all these fucking kills. I just want Nino to get them. God damn you. Damn you. <laughs> get, get real mad at these archers. Oh, hey, you're shooting Nino, and that's good for me. Oh, God. Okay. Well, there was a lot of potential damage, but he missed, so it's fine. Oh, I love Nino's animations. Yay. Even though it's the same shit we've been seeing from Urk for, since forever, and Pent, uh, I still like Nino's animations a lot, because it's Nino, and I love a Nino. Yay, a Nino. Uh, getting a little, uh, little Mexican grandmother in that voice, uh, if you're a walking stereotype. Um, what the fuck was I talking about? Uh, but yeah, it's like the initial relationship high of like, just getting with someone and it's the fucking best relationship and you're like, oh my god, I'm so in love. And then you start singing a shitty song from like 2008. And it was on the radio for a really long time. It's, uh, don't worry about it. I'm making a, that's a joke that's specifically for Tim Friend. Uh, <laughs> and I don't mean the channel. I mean just me. Uh, 
Ooh, who we've got here? Oh, right, Marcus. Marcus, drop off Raven at the uh, fucking carpool and head back to Team B where you belong. Uh, you can't pick up Hector, can you, Lynn? Gosh, no. Uh, but you can just kind of come around here and we'll have uh, Ellie would get the experience from killing these knights because Florina doesn't need it as much as Ellie would does. And uh, we, we, we like Elliewood. He's a cool guy. He's, he's a good friend. Certainly, he is a good friend to Hector. I like it. It's, it's, it's cute. I like good friendships. I like it. It's the worst. Um, uh, we might as well use the rest of this hand axe. Uh, get that axe XP. And then Scene won't kill something unless he crits, which he might, because he's a badass. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, but, like, when you're in that fucking relationship high, like, I don't like PDA now, but goddamn, apparently I loved PDA back in senior year when I was first getting with, with Julia Friend. Holy shit, I was the most obnoxious, but you know what? That's okay. It's okay to be obnoxious. I've I've sort of resolved that in my head, and uh, you shouldn't be, shouldn't be rude to people being obnoxious because it's like fucking... It's like if someone got high and they were, like... Like, on acid or something. Like, I'm ecstasy, and they were being, like, super, like, Whoa! Holy shit! This is the best time of my life! It's like, yeah, okay, it probably feels like that in the moment. And that's fine to feel like that in the moment, because you're high as fuck. Uh, and I think that, uh, oh gosh, there's a, there's a song, and I'm totally blanking the artist's name, but it's, uh, uh, Tove Lo. Uh, or Tove Lo, I don't know. I want to say Tove Lo because Tove just seems dumb to me, but I don't know her ethnicity, so I can't really speak to that. Uh, I want to stay high all the time to keep you off my mind. Uh, and uh, on on surface level, it sounds like it's a song about drugs, but I like I have a headcanon about that song. And my headcanon is that it's a song about, uh, not about drugs, but about uh, getting into relationships just for their relationship high because you want to capture the feeling that you had when it, you were with the other person. And that's my headcanon because I've totally known a, a person who's been like that, and I'm not going to name names. But uh, for a long time, they would just hop in and out of relationships and in and out and in and out. Uh, just, and, like, uh, I would, I think it's just to sort of ride that relationship high and then as soon as you fall out of that high you would assume that or, or you uh, they would assume that that means uh there's no love there but that's not how love works uh, you just sort of you get this high and then you sort of come down and then you you hit that that sort of instead of the passionate love you get like the the, the comfort to the companionate love and that comes up and that plateaus out uh it's lower than the passionate love but it's 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 better uh, it's <laughs> Because that, that's when they become not only a person you're in love with, but also a person that you're a good friend with. And that's that's what I've got with Julia Friend right now. And that's not to say we don't have moments of passion, but it's not just like constantly like nuzzling each other and tickling each other and constantly being like, oh my gosh, I'm so in love with you right now, oh my god. Because uh, that's not what it is. And there's no way I could keep that up with any human, probably, uh, for... Like, if, if I was going to get married based on that, like, that would be the most disappointing thing in the universe. And that's why, uh, uh, I, I don't know. Go, go read Aziz Ansari's Modern Romance. Uh, it, it's, I'm pretty sure I'm butchering the shit that he talks about that, uh, the, the shit that he talks about in that book. But it's one of my favorite books. It's just, it's really smart. It's, it's, it's funny, but that's not the main focus, and that's okay for it to not be the main focus. I like it a lot. Go read it. The, the <laughs> Tim Sutton, 2016. Go read that book. It's good. It's, it's good book. Uh, oh fuck! Excuse me. God damn it, Knights of Austria! You're just ah oh, god. You're the worst knights. Do you even train? I mean, I guess these are morphs though, and they haven't been gallivanting across the world fighting leagues of assassins and uh, rebellious Marquesses and shit like that. They've probably just been fighting each other, and that's. Uh, that's uh, that's that's no good. You gotta you gotta go out into the world. You gotta find new experiences. You can't just sit around beating the shit out of your same friend forever. That's why I'm not good at Smash. I don't play online. I just play against a couple of my friends every now and then. I'm not professional. And I I I don't really have any desire to be professional. But these knights, like it's their job to be protectors of the realm. Come on, Hector, do better. Uh, protectors of the realm, and that means you gotta fucking, you gotta be badass. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, words, 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 words. 
I'm super good at them. Don't don't even worry about it. Don't even wordsy about it. Awful. Just awful. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh Priscilla murdered this knight. Oh god, I think they'll all be beating on Priscilla because they're gonna run her out of Thunder Tomes. Was there a game where that happened? I can't remember. I think it's fucking uh like Fire Emblem Eleven. <laughs> Oh gosh, it's been a while. I can't remember which one is which at this point. I haven't. I, it's Shadow Dragon, the remake of Fire Emblem One uh, that they made for the Nintendo DS. Uh, it was pretty fun, but it was such a departure from a uh, fucking Fire Emblem Six, Seven, Eight, and even Nine and Ten uh, that I hated it because it felt like such a backward step, like getting rid of supports and having way too many units and having the unit distinctions be so fucking small. Uh, gosh, I did not like Fire Emblem 11 when it first came out, but now, now I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it now, and that's fine. Alright, looks like we are just shitting through this chapter. Uh, but, uh, well, yeah, we'll give this another couple turns, and we'll call it an episode, because these turns should be faster now that there's far fewer enemies for us to deal with. Uh, Denning is still f just futilely shooting his longbow at us, and, uh, we're gonna leave him in his little prison of iron until he is dead. Uh, or until we get to the last turn, when uh, all the reinforcements should have spawned and all been deaded, uh, including these thieves and archers. I, 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 I'll, you know what? I'll look it up between episodes how many more reinforcements we got to deal with. Because if it's not that much more, might as well end this chapter early, just because it's not a lot, not a lot going on with it. Uh, just like the other defend chapters, where we've got the the ends of the turns, and they're just like, or like the last few turns, and it's just like where, where the enemies go. Come on, guys. Come on, Nino. Ah, just a shit ton of poor levels in this chapter. Oh well. Everyone's just trying to shoot at Nino, and they're just uh, just whiffing it, just not doing any damage whatsoever. Cause that's that's how Nino rolls. She only takes damage from poison. She's critting like crazy though, which is awesome and super unnecessary. But I mean, shit. It's hey, friends. It's Tim. I'm here in the uh, the editing booth here at Tim Friend Studios. Uh, it turns out that uh, my video capture program just decided to stop capturing video at around this point in uh, today's episode. So, that's, if you're wondering why we've uh, faded out on the audio and cut out on the video, uh, it's because technology is the devil. So I'm just going to sort of walk you through what happened in uh, the rest of this chapter, and the entirety of the, the next episode was... Uh, also lost, so we're just gonna... It, it's okay, it's okay, there wasn't a lot there. You can calm down. So uh, there was Denning, and we had him trapped in a bunch of... in our little iron prison, and uh, he did quite a bit of damage to Sane, but it's okay, because uh, we we had Urk and Nino to think about. They finally got to their B-level support, and uh, in it, uh, Urk discovers that Nino was never, like, she's illiterate, basically. Like, she learned magic just by imitating Sonya casting spells. And apparently that's quite a feat for a, a young person or a magician of any kind to be able to cast spells without being able to read them from the tomes. And uh, that gives Urk a great deal of respect for Nino. And when he says that, Nino breaks down crying. It's the first time that she's ever sort of felt like she had worth or value or or even something to do, be proud about for her life. And it's very cute and it reinforces the fact that Urk and Nino is the best Nino support. So suck it haters. Uh, then we were able to kill Denning uh, without really any problem whatsoever. Uh, and then we were treated to a cutscene where uh, Uther, sorry, not Uther, Hector, uh, talks, to, talks to Oswin and he seems mad. And uh, he asks Oswin where his brother is, and his brother is still sort or sorry, Oswin is still sort of uh, very cagey about it. He's not telling Hector very much. And then Hector just straight up guesses that his brother is dead. And Oswin's like, yeah, uh, I mean, I'm not going to say anything, but... And then Hector's like, don't worry, it's okay. I know he's dead, and but I hate that you're not willing to tell me that he's dead. And Oswin's like, hey, well... Uh, if he knew, if you knew he was dead, he was worried that you'd choose him over saving the world. That might not actually be till the next chapter. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, we finally get confirmation that Uther is dead, which I think we had guessed a long time ago. If you hadn't guessed it, um, 
maybe feel a little bad because Fire Emblem's not very good about being subtle about things like this. But that's okay. You'll get it next time, champ. I believe in you. So I hope you enjoyed uh, my really terrible Photoshop abilities and trying to make this a little, uh, little, little bit of a. Uh, I, all right. So I got pretty furious at uh, my software, and that's why this episode didn't go up the day when it was supposed to. But uh, I hope you have a good day. The episodes will resume as normal, and uh, have a you know have have a great rest of the day. I'm sure I will. I'm going to eat some of these incredible Sour Patch Kids. Have a good one, everybody. Tim Friend.